All right, good morning, my friends. Happy Sunday. I'm so glad to have you guys back again. This is our virtual shakeout, so this is something you can watch if you weren't able to attend church in person. So today we are going to be talking about John. He's a character in the Bible that we hear about quite frequently. But before we go into our Bible story, we are going to talk a little bit. So let's talk about some certain scenarios or some events that might happen. These things are times where something might initially seem bad or scary or very hurtful, but ultimately it's good for us in the long run. Let's think about a time like getting your tooth pulled. Now initially, when you have to get the shots to numb your mouth and to get your tooth pulled out and to have all the swelling, it is going to hurt and it's really scary, but ultimately this can be something that's very good for us. For example, it might have been a rotting tooth which might have caused future pain or maybe it was a tooth that was in the wrong spot and was making all your other teeth in your mouth move around while that pain that we encounter from being numbed and from having it pulled out and all the aftercare is not fun at all it'll eventually serve us right in the long run another example is maybe you have an early bedtime I know when I was a lot younger, I did not like going to bed early. I had a bedtime of about 7 or 8 o'clock sometimes, and oh man, I got so mad having to go to bed early when all my friends or maybe the other adults in my house could go and stay up. But now I know that if I didn't get those hours of sleep, then I would have been super, super cranky throughout the day, and my parents knew that. So while I didn't like to go to bed early, my parents knew that it was ultimately what was good for me. And then another thing that I know a lot of us really don't like doing is homework. Homework is something that can take a lot of time and it's not fun because sometimes it's really hard to understand. Sometimes you just get so frustrated you want to give up. But actually, while it's difficult, this is something that we use to practice. So an example is math homework. When we practice math over and over again, we can get better at it. So sometimes God uses things that seem bad to do something good. The worst thing that ever happened, the death of Jesus on the cross, God used for our good. Jesus' death and resurrection provides our salvation. Jesus has promised to return and make everything new again. And we'll be hearing more about that in today's Bible story. So all of us have dreamed before, but have you ever had those dreams that were super vivid? Like when you wake up and you're like, wow, I didn't even realize I was dreaming. I thought that was real. That is what we're going to be talking about in today's Bible story. John had a vivid dream about Jesus. He actually had what's called a vision. And the vision is a dream that happens when you're awake. So over the next few weeks, we're going to be hearing about an amazing vision that John had of Jesus. In this vision, Jesus spoke to John about the future. As we hear about these stories of John's vision, we will answer our big picture question. And our question is, what will happen when Jesus returns? Kind of a big question. So I'm not going to answer that for you right now, but we will go ahead and answer it in the future. So we've learned a lot from God's word about Jesus and his promise to one day return. We've read some of Paul's letters to the churches, encouraging them to stand strong in their faith as they wait for the Lord. But today we're reading from the book of Revelation, which was written by John. John was one of Jesus' disciples and closest friends. He was with Jesus from the beginning of his ministry trip to Jesus' crucifixion. He was with the disciples when Jesus was raised from the dead, and he saw Jesus ascend into heaven. John also heard Jesus' promise to one day return and make all things new. Our story this week is called John's Vision of Jesus. So our story today takes place in Revelation chapter 1, verse 9 through 20. So if you'd like, you can flip forward to that in your Bibles, or you can just listen along to what I'm reading. Today's Bible story is called John's Vision of Jesus. Like many believers, the Apostle John faced suffering and persecution for telling people about Jesus. The Roman Emperor punished John by sending him to an island called Patmos. While John was on the island, he had a vision. John heard a loud voice like a trumpet. The voice said, write on a scroll what you see. Then send the message to the seven churches in Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamum, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, 
and Laodicea. John turned around to see whose voice he heard. He saw seven gold lampstands, and he saw Jesus, the Son of Man. Jesus was wearing a long robe with a gold sash wrapped around his chest. When John saw Jesus, he fell at Jesus' feet. Jesus put his hand on John and commanded him, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last and the living one. I was dead, but look, I am alive forever and ever. Jesus explained that the seven lampstands were the seven churches. He told John to write about everything he had seen. So we're now going to ask some questions and talk about some things that happened in the story today. So our first one is, think about a time that you've done something wrong and been sent to your room for time out. John, Jesus' disciple, had been exiled to the land of Patmos. Being in exile is kind of like being in a permanent time out. John was sent there for a crime. Do you guys remember what the crime was? So his crime was actually telling people about Jesus and the good news of how they can be rescued from their sin. But even though John suffered on Patmos, while he was there, he received an incredible revelation from Jesus himself. What is a vision? We talked about this before. If you remember, a vision is like a dream, except for when you're awake. John had a vision. In his vision, he saw Jesus and heard him speak. Can you imagine what John must have been feeling? Here was Jesus in all his glory standing before him. The Bible said Jesus' hair was white as snow and his eyes blazed like fire. His feet were like bronze from a furnace and his voice sounded like a rushing waterfall. John was so overwhelmed at the sight of him that he fell down at Jesus' feet. How do you guys think you'd react to seeing Jesus in all his glory? You would be amazed, right? That would be such an incredible sight to see Jesus in person right in front of you. Jesus showed himself to John to give John a job. Do you guys remember what the job was? Jesus told John to write down all the things that Jesus would show him. Jesus appeared to John in a vision to tell him about the end of time. In the coming weeks, we'll hear more about what John saw and experienced in his vision. So Jesus showed himself to John and explained that he is the first and the last, the living one. While Jesus was on earth, he defeated sin and death by dying on the cross and coming back to life. Now Jesus is lifted up in glory and honor forever and ever. And at just the right time, Jesus will come back to earth. We're now going to move on to our big picture question and answer. Will you guys will actually hear the answer to the question I asked earlier. So if you guys remember, our question is, what will happen when Jesus returns? And our answer is, Jesus will destroy all evil and make things new. So this is a different big picture question we've been learning. And along with that, we actually have a different key passage. So our key passage is from Revelation, and it's chapter 21, verse 5. And it goes, He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. What kind of person sits on a throne? It's a king, right? The key passage tells us that the person speaking is a king, but not just any king. The king is Jesus. He is the king of kings. He promises to make everything new. Even though we would have been rescued by Jesus and forgiven of our sins, sin's effects are everywhere. We still face sickness, sin, and death. But one day Jesus will take away all bad things and he will restore everything to the way God created it in the very beginning. What an incredible promise that is. So let's recap what we learned today. We heard about John's vision. And remember, a vision is kind of like a dream, except you're awake. And in that vision, Jesus appeared to him to talk about the future. He talked about what would happen when Jesus came back. And remember, when Jesus comes back, he's going to get rid of all sin and all badness and all sickness and death and sin. Isn't that amazing? All right, guys, thank you so much for sitting in and listening to today's ShakeOut. I'm so glad you were able to tune in. Before you guys leave, I'm just going to say a prayer for you guys. Lord, thank you so much for allowing us to hear your word today. We thank you for the promise that Jesus will one day return and make all things new. We pray that we would live like you and live like Jesus every day and worship you in everything that we do. I pray that our friends at home are staying safe and that they're not feeling overwhelmed by school or anything going on or feeling sick. 
I pray that they're healthy with their families and enjoying life right now, Lord. I pray that they would soak everything up from today's lesson and apply it into their lives. In your name we pray, amen. All right, guys, thank you so much again for tuning in to Shake Out this week. I pray that you have a great rest of your days and you can let this lesson kind of soak up in your brain and apply it to what you do. I look forward to seeing you guys again next week. Thank you.